So yesterday, Zach Wheeler became one of the big names to come off the free agency market for pitchers, and he signed a five-year deal with the Phillies for over $100 million. Apparently, the White Sox offered him more money, but he decided to be close to his fiance's family in Philly, and that is a huge move for the Phillies. They needed starting pitching help. Cole Hamels was a name they were interested in, and I still think they need to address pitching even more. I still think they need a little bit of bullpen help. I think they need maybe another starter, but I feel like the Phillies are making moves, and it's a really good move for them. So with that being said, what we're going to do is a Phillies offseason rebuild. So if you're enjoying these rebuilds and you want to see some more of them, hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. On screen now is going to be the most recent video that I've uploaded to the channel. So if you've missed it, go and give it a watch. It'll be right here in the top right hand corner with that little eye icon. And other than that, guys, all social media links are going to be in the description, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. They're down below in the description. Go and give them a follow. So as usual, I'm using riding rosters, most recent update in the roster vault. And I just make the changes. Um, that happen in the off season as they go. But if you guys have a roster that you think is more up to date and is better, let me know in the comment section down below which one you think I should use. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna turn off GM contracts so we can go with this full off season rebuild. I'm gonna simulate the first season and I'll see you guys at the end of the year and we'll get this thing started in the off season. So let's talk off season for like our actual first season. So. Um, arbitration wise, I did decide to bring back Cesar Hernandez because I'm thinking of trading him. And I feel like that might be a better move rather than just letting him walk. I did release Michael Franco though, because I feel like he's going to be extra to the team. And I feel like might as well just let him go like the Phillies did in real life. You guys can see who I offered arbitration to. And then when you take a look at the contracts, we did offer everybody a contract as well. My big thing heading into free agency, you guys can see the two offers that I have. Rendon and c -Shack. I want a bullpen arm and I want a new third baseman because what I'm thinking I'm going to do is move Scott Kingery to second to take over for Cesar Hernandez. Starting pitching wise, I feel like we still need one more good arm. Relief pitchers, if we get c -Shack, I feel like we should be okay for this coming season. We do have a lot of big contracts um, ending at the end of the year. So we have like Arietta, Robertson, Meshek. That's a lot of money right there in those three pitchers that we're going to be able to spend in season two and season three, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, looking forward to. Real Muto's our catcher. Hoskins at first. Kingery is going to be at second. Hopefully Rendon at third. Shortstop. Gene Segura might be a player I look to trade, especially with 14 million dollars. That's a big contract. I feel like we can get someone younger and better. McCutcheon, kind of the same thing. A big contract. I might look to move him. Nick Williams could potentially just step in for one season or two, depending on how he develops. Center field's another area I want to improve. Center field one bullpen arm and third base and then a starting pitcher those are the four areas i'm looking to improve this off season so i'll see you guys at the start of our actual first season so we're about to start this first season but i decided to make a trade for a lefty reliever in jace fry we're going to be sending adam morgan and cole irvin to the white Sox. and cole irvin's a 26 year old 71 overall and we have a couple other pitching prospects that are a little bit better than him so i feel like we need a lefty might as well go get one all right so this one is something that I don't know if it's the best of idea. We are trading for an aging left fielder. Now we're going to make him a left fielder. Charlie Blackman of the Rockies for McCutcheon, Neris, and Blake Parker. So I feel like we have our new left fielder with Charlie Blackman. We're going to leave um, Adam Halsley, Hazley in center field. Blake, uh, Bryce, geez, Hazley in center, Harper in right. We got Charlie Blackman going to be moving to left. And then, really, I just want to move uh, Cesar Hernandez for a better uh, starting pitcher. And I think we're set. Final trade is going to be Trevor Williams for Cesar Hernandez and Eniel De Los Santos and Bryson Stott. So, let me get the team sorted. I'll show you guys what we're working with. All right, season one, we're finally getting this thing started. And this is what we're working with. So, we have Nola Wheeler, Velasquez, Arietta, and then Trevor Williams. We'll actually move Trevor Williams up. Pivetta is going to be our long reliever. We got Sir Anthony Dominguez, Arano. Alvarez, Morin, c -Shek, Jace Fry, and then David Robertson. We have a crazy amount of pitchers um, because I went a little bit ham on signing some on accident. But um, Eflin's a possibility to be brought up. We also do have Andrew Ramos, who I think could potentially be brought up next season and maybe take over for um, Morin if he does bad. And then uh, we're also going to be losing Robertson, especially since he's aging. So I want to get a little bit younger in the bullpen as well. Our backup catcher is pretty atrocious. 
But outside of that, it's okay. We brought in Chris Owings on a one-year deal. And then Nick Williams is going to be our backup outfielder. And this is what we're working with the lineup. Offensively, really, really good. I still think we need to improve that pitching. And I'm pretty sure we still have a decent budget. Actually, we don't. But we do have a lot of one-year deals expiring because I had to fill the minor league um, system with a bunch of one-year contracts. So our budget will improve next year. And we also have a lot of contracts expiring at the end of the season. So I'll see you guys then. And let's see how we do. Alrighty, so the month of September, we're actually doing really well. We're gonna be a hundred win. Uh, we're gonna have a hundred win season. I'm expecting pretty good things heading into the postseason because we won 109 games and 53 losses. So we're taking on the winner of the wild card, and let's go see how we did. League leaders wise, Bryce Harper looks like he went off this year, and then Zach Wheeler is looking like he's gonna be that pitcher that we need, that potential ace. So looking at the awards, Harper was MVP. And then we have two gold glovers and then a Cy Young for Zach Wheeler as well. So he's actually paying dividends in this rebuild. He's actually be, like really being a, a key part in the rebuild. So with the Phillies, we're ranked third. Really the only bad thing about this team is its defense. And um, let's take a look. So Aaron Nola and Wheeler are dueling it out for this ace, this number one spot in the rotation. And you guys can see they're, they're both pitching really well. Um, Trevor Williams did well. Uh, Arietta did really well. I'm not going to bring him back because his stats are decreasing really, really quickly, but he pitched really well. And Vince Velasquez did as well. We might even bring up Eflin to be that fifth or that fifth starter, Velasquez, up into that fourth spot. And then we're, we're good in the starting rotation. And then uh, how's uh, Ramos looking? Ramos definitely is hopping into the, the bullpen next year. It's just who is he going to take over? Because everybody pitched very very well like scarily well even jose alvarez who's at a 72 overall for some reason because of his contract um he's he's had a good season i don't understand why his morale is dropping him that much but pitching oof, pitching was solid our bench nick williams is already up to a 75 i like to see that chris owings is an 80 interesting um gene segura is actually looking like a really solid shortstop so i don't think i'm gonna trade him he's actually doing really well and there's no there's no reason to trade him. He's got really good stats. Charlie Blackman's holding his overall and putting up good stats. You got Rendon, who's a beast. We got Harper, Reese Hoskins, JT. Everybody's everyone's performing well. Even Jay Bruce. And you got Adam Hazley, who's doing really well. So Hazley's gonna continue to develop. So we got our center fielder there. And offensively, I think we're set. I think we're good. I don't think we need to make any changes. Um, I want to see how the bullpen does you know we're gonna be losing robertson just because he's old and i'm afraid that he's gonna decrease really really quickly and then we're gonna lose arietta as well we're gonna have some money to play with uh, maybe move on from alvarez pick up another lefty so i think we're gonna be in the market for one or two bullpen arms and then um i think this team is looking very good heading into season two and season three of this rebuild so we uh might lose in the postseason but since this is season one we'll just sim it we actually do advance and uh, we'll see how we do against the dodgers who have picked up garrett cole no way um, we went through them with ease and we're in the world series season one of this rebuild already with the phillies and taking on the yankees we're up three to two and we, we might as well quick manage this one because things are going super like unreal already Citizens Bank Park, we're going to have Aaron Nola take the mound. Our team looks set. And uh, they brought in Adam Frazier to play shortstop. Okay, they got Andujar at third, Jake Lamb at first. So a couple changes with this Yankees team. But let's see how this goes because we're already up one nothing thanks to Rendon. And I'm really liking this team we've put together already. We're looking solid. And I feel like just a couple changes and I think we're going to be unstoppable. Kingery goes deep. And um, yeah, 2 nothing lead is gone Two nothing lead is gone but um i'm feeling still pretty good about it that's not good can we get out of this with limited damage though one run deficit and uh the bats have cooled off which is not good nola's done um harper gets on which is good hoskins gets on come on we got to get a run in here we don't okay so let's go arano come on get out of this perfect um we're gonna pinch hit here Let's go, we'll save Jay Bruce. We'll go to Nick Williams. He gets on, which is great. Segura Fielder's choice, and then a double play ends the inning. That's that's rough. Let's go to Jace Fry for the lefty-lefty matchup. He hits the guy, which is not good. We'll go Steve Ciszek, double play, perfect. And now we're heading into the 
bottom of the eighth. We're still down one. We need another run. It's it's looking like uh, we're uh, going to be heading to a game seven unless something crazy happens here. Real Muto flies out. We're going to pinch hit. We're going to go to Jay Bruce. He flies out and Segura. So game seven World Series. Here we go. Whew. Zach Wheeler. How fitting is this? Zach Wheeler's kind of rebuild with the Phillies. He's going to be taking the mound for game seven. Let's see how this goes. One, two, three. Perfect. There's a double. Can we get that run in? Bases loaded for Real Muto. He doesn't bring the runs in, though. That's that's disappointing. He's been really disappointing the last two games. I don't think he has a hit, which is rough. Um, so let's keep going. Come on. There we go. We got a hit with him, but we weren't able to bring in the run. So still 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, we're looking like it's a pitching duel right now. Runner was thrown out, which is... Ah, oh, there's that run. Two runs, three runs, and we're down three nothing in the bottom of the sixth. Are we really gonna throw this World Series away? We're gonna pinch hit. We're gonna go to let's go Nick Williams again. He grounds out. Gene Segura gets us on the board though. That's that's big. Um, why did it? I hit X to like skip the notification that I had a pitcher or a person on the mound, and it just automatically pitched for me what luckily we got the out which is huge but that could have been terrible um can we get this run in please no we're still down two um come on let's get out of this no damage down we're down three bottom nine and uh, there's there's that okay jay bruce come on home run right here i'll take that there we go we're down one with one out strikeout and a fly out and that's the end of the season man that's tough so at least we're making the postseason. Reese Hoskins was the postseason MVP. Uh, we made the postseason. We made the World Series in season one. So it can only go up from here, right? Let's see what we can do in the offseason. We're going to have a lot of money to play with. Um, we got some big contracts hitting um, uh, free agency. We got to take this team option with um, c -Sheck. He was amazing for us. Real Muto, we definitely need to offer a contract to. And then I think we'll let the rest walk, you know. I feel like we can get younger players that are just as good or better um, and it should help out with the squad so let's take a look arbitration yeah we can offer those guys arbitration contracts will offer all the young guys contracts and then like I said pitchers I think we're gonna pass um, bullpen arms I, like I said we need a lefty Andrew Miller might be that guy for a season just for one year how is Trevor Rosenthal he was okay um, maybe like a Brad Hand because we do need a closer and we do need a lefty. Brad Hand actually fits those points. And then we could just maybe pick up a different righty. And then, like I said, offensively, we're set. So pitching is going to be the, the focus. Let's hop into season two. For season two, we've made a couple changes. Nothing too crazy. We're going to give Zach Eflin one year. See how he does. Same with Vince Velasquez. They, uh, Vince Velasquez last season didn't pitch terribly. 3.65 ERA. And the year before that, 3.76. So heading into like, well, this is actually our season two. Um, so he's been pretty good. We're going to see how Eflin does. I'm questionable about him. He pitched in 11 games last year, pitched pretty well. So we'll see how he does. And I'm really happy with like the Wheeler, Williams, and Nola for one, two, three. The bullpen, really the only ones I would look to improve on going into the final season next year would be Mike Morin. Um, depending on how Ramos Arano does, um, we might even, oh, man, these two are looking really solid too. Dominguez might move to that closer role once c -Sheck leaves. Um, Jace Fry was pitching really well too. Um, so we might actually just move him like that and rock like that. So when we take a look at the lineup, um, we do have these three guys as bench bats. We also have um, Nick Williams who will move over there as well. Really the weak spot is our center fielder, but I feel like he's a young guy with good potential and he's a lefty bat. Might as well keep him there and see how things do. But looking at this team, it is really, really good. I'm pretty sure we're still ranked pretty highly we're ranked second and the thing that's holding us back is that defense so i'm really liking it let's see how the season plays out and then heading into that next season where it's the final year i feel like between this year and next year we're winning a world series for sure Alrighty. so again september is just around the corner we're at 85 wins so i don't think we're gonna be as good as last year and i'm actually interested to see what what went different we still won 99 games which is awesome 99 and 63 again we won the division but this time we're taking on the reds rather than the wild card winner league leaders we had home runs with bryce harper and that was it 
and awards we had the mvp for bryce harper once again so he's been phenomenal for us and then we won the division by one game actually so we're gonna have to step up our game because something went a little bit different than last year nola didn't pitch as well neither did wheeler neither did williams um Eflin was actually really solid and uh, so was velasquez so i think we actually have a pretty solid rotation i don't want to mess with that at all it looks like they sent down pivetta which i can kind of see why but like i don't really think we should have looking at the bullpen steve c-shack with oh wow jace fry yikes um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take c-shack out of that role and we'll just we'll rock like this i guess um, so a couple like the two guys we trusted the most C-Sheck and Jace Fry to be that eighth inning set of roles really let us down So that's kind of where we went wrong with the pitching um, Looking at the rest of the team Leon wasn't a great catcher. I mean you look at his hitting stats. They're not amazing Owings wasn't bad. Torres wasn't bad um, Our backup outfielder that got called up had one plate appearance. What we'll do is we'll send him back down um, And we'll actually bring up Pavetta just just in case um, something crazy happens in the um, postseason where we need that extra that extra pitcher. So what we'll do is we'll send down uh, Maziati to where he came from, the minors, and we'll take a look at our lineup. So Segura, once again, really solid. He does hit free agency. No, he doesn't hit free agency. We got him for one more season. Perfect. There's our shortstop. Rendon, been amazing for us. Bryce Harper is insane. Back, what, technically three straight MVPs now. Um, because he had it in the year that we simmed heading into the offseason for this rebuild. Hoskins, the average isn't there, but run production, the home runs are. Charlie Blackman's doing amazing. Um, Nick Williams is actually developing pretty well. Uh, what is he, a 27? Okay. He's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty good. Uh, Real Muto well, did well. Hazley's doing pretty solid. And Kingery, what's his deal? He wants to be a star and his contract to be better. So we're gonna have to move him up in the lineup, but who does he replace? Maybe move Segura down in the lineup? I don't know. I'm, I'm liking the team. I don't wanna mess with it too much, um, but it's looking like we do need a little bit of bullpen help. So taking on the Reds. Um, wow, we got swept. Okay. We got season three to win that World Series now because uh, yikes. Um, I think it just said the Cubs defeat or the Cubs got defeated by the Mariners in the World Series. So we got that to look forward to in the future. But let's take a look at um, options here. Steve Ciszek did disappoint. Um, but So we're going to see who else is available. Sandy Leone wasn't the best of hitters. But let's just bring him back for a season as a backup catcher to Real Muto. Anyways, we're going to let Morin go because ooh, he was actually really good. Ooh. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's see what we have available. And then Chris Owings as a bench bat isn't terrible, but I feel like we can get somebody else as well. So we're going to we're going to move past those guys. And let's see what we can do. Arbitration. We got to offer everybody arbitration. Um, I, yeah, let's bring back Torres as well. And then contracts, we'll give them to that uh, to the guys that are there. So I feel like starters we're good. I don't want to spend too much money on the starters. This is where I want to improve on because we definitely need to replace C-Shack. Do we go to Devensky, who actually looks really good? How's Knable? Not great. Um, it's looking like Devensky or Archie Bradley might be the option. I'm liking Devensky, so he's probably going to be that option there. And then looking at the lineup, I don't think we need to replace anybody offensively. Um, so yeah, just two bullpen arms. Um, I don't think we need a lefty. I just think we need two two righties and we're set. So What are we looking at? Devensky and how's Kalame? Devensky and Kalame we're good and I feel like there's no reason why we shouldn't win a World Series So um, I might try to pick up another bench bat as well But that's that's what we're looking like for the offseason final season if we don't win a World Series. I have failed horribly because Ooh, this team is nice pitching rotation 91 90 85 85 81 i mean you could maybe be like oh yeah let's bring up ranger suarez to replace Eflin. you could be like let's go trade for another pitcher the budget's kind of tight um probably the tightest i've bet had in a rebuild uh recently we have pavetta as a long reliever who i think looks pretty solid um he's an 80 for some he's unhappy with his contract we have jace fry back um, Arano 
Sir Anthony Dominguez, Edure Ramos. We got Davinsky and Kalame, and then Brad Hand. Whew, that's a nice bullpen. Um, holy cow, that is good. When you take a look at the lineup, whew, it is so nice. Really, just Nick Williams and Hazley are the two like downers of the lineup. But look at those hitting stats. Those are pretty decent hitting stats. Lefty there, you got Nick Williams. Pretty decent hitting stats as well. On the bench, we have Kyle Seeger for a little bit of pop off the bench. Chris Taylor as well. Really good platoon player. I was able to get him into the squad. And then Sandy Leone. So the team looks really good. I'm actually going to move uh, Scott Kingery up in the lineup so he gets that um, morale boost. And uh, I feel like that really should do it. Um, yeah, that is that's a really good team. Uh, JT Realmuto needs to start every single game. Not too sure why he's on the bench. But um, the CPU is trying to trying to ruin us but look at this team it looks so good i'm actually really excited to see how it performs and that is the final season with the phillies it looks unreal we need to win a world series we didn't win it in the first year let's see if we can do it in season three all right so 87 wins so far through just the start of september and it could be another 100 win team can we do it we're pushing it and we actually are going to make it. So 103 wins, 59 losses, won the division, taking on the winner of the wild card. And we, we put together a squad here in Philadelphia. Trevor Williams looks like he's been an amazing pickup for us. And something that I did see, though, was that Zach Wheeler was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, I saw his ERA was a little high. So we're the seventh ranked team. So we've actually taken a couple steps back. And uh, that's kind of interesting to see. But... Um, we won the division by quite a bit, 26 games. That's nuts. Um, but let's take a look at the pitching. You got Nola with a three ERA. He was, he's was he been the ace for sure. Zach Wheeler's up to a 93, and he actually improved because at the deadline, his ERA was like 4.5 or something like that. So he's at least brought it down and got it back to a respectable number. And he's actually been pretty solid for us on um, the three years that we've used him. 3-1-4, 3-7-8, 3-7-2. Pretty solid. Um, Trevor Williams was phenomenal. Can't believe he didn't win Cy Young. We got Vince Velasquez, who was okay, and Zach Eflin, who wasn't terrible either. Maybe Ranger Suarez was uh, an option we could have gone with. Nick Pavetta was meh. You know, Jace Fry got back on track this year. Arano struggled a bit. Dominguez struggled a bit. Ramos was okay. Um, Davinsky was good. Colome was amazing. And then Brad Hand was pretty solid as well. So pretty happy with the pitching. That might be one of the best pitching staffs that we've put together for like the entirety of a rebuild like everyone actually did pretty solid and no one really kind of screwed us over except for um c shack and jace fry i think those were like the two worst performances out of the entire rebuild which doesn't happen too often so i'll take that for sure on the bench pretty happy with the performances there definitely happy with those kingery did decent um he wanted to be moved up in the lineup don't think he deserved it but we'll put him there to make him happy rendon did well He's a great pickup too. Like he's a really good pickup. Harper, amazing. Hoskins is gonna put up 30 home runs about. He hit 40, 36, and 29. So he's actually gone down, but he still put up pretty good numbers. Charlie Blackman was actually a really good acquisition as well. He hit about mid 20s for home runs, had about 30 plus doubles every single year. Really happy with picking him up. Contract's kind of big, but still pretty solid. Kyle Seeger's DH was atrocious. I was kind of hoping he would have done a little bit better. JT Real Muto was very, very good throughout this entirety um, of the rebuild. Around 20 home runs every single season, so I'll take that as a catcher. We got Hazley, who was actually pretty consistent. This was his worst year. He hit 270 and 295, and this was actually his worst year, which is kind of crazy to think about. And then Gene Segura was actually very surprising as well. I thought about trading him day one, but I'm glad I didn't because he was a re very reliable bat at shortstop. So coming against the Cubs in the postseason, and we are facing elimination, which is great. That's just how things go. And we might end. Are we really going to get eliminated here after we go to the World Series season one? And then we're just not going to make a World Series after that. So it looks like this Anthony Ramirez is a um, player from the draft. They have Nate Lau. No, Nate Lowe at first. But it looks like a pretty standard Cubs lineup outside of that. And uh, can we get to Kyle Hendricks early. That would be huge if we could. Um, but so far, it's a pretty quiet game. There's a double that would just couldn't get that run home. Um, but here we go. Okay, first and second, one out. 
There we go, Real Muto. Then Segura brings in the run, and we're up two. We're down four to two. So there's <laughs> there's that. We're just not catching any breaks, and I can't believe that we're not gonna win a World Series with this team. This team is insane. How do we not win a World Series? Um, can we get Nola to go one more inning? He does. Bottom eight. We got two more innings to get three runs and take the lead. I don't think we're going to. So we're going to take Nola out. We're going to bring in Dubensky. And he goes one, two, three, and it comes down to this. We're going to bring in, I guess, Chris Taylor. And he strikes out. Kingry flies out. Rendon doubles to keep the thing alive. Can Harper keep this alive? He doesn't. And we've been eliminated in the first round for the second year in a row. Wow. The bats went super quiet, and that's disappointing because we have a good team. Zach Wheeler did struggle, but we have a scary good team, and we get eliminated in the first round once again. That sucks, especially since we made the World Series Season 1, and we took it to Game 7, and I can't believe that happened. But that's how it's going to end, guys. I hope you did enjoy the Zach Wheeler Phillies off-season rebuild. If you did, thumbs up the video. That's the easiest way for me to know that you enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Make sure you turn on that bell icon. Click it and turn on all notifications so you're notified whenever a video does go live. And in the comment section, let me know future rebuilds or videos you would like to see. You guys know the deal. What we're going to do is that on screen, there's going to be two videos, my most recent upload, and also a video that YouTube recommends. If you haven't seen either of them, go and give them a watch. All social media, once again, is going to be in the description. Go and give them a follow if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.